Today's tutorial shows the usage of our mail application for admins. We show how you as an admin change settings for one user in Stylite Mail Hosting. Furthermore, we explain how to create a mail account for several users on every server. You learn how to install a mail profile for all users and a pure SMTP Outbox account. In part 1 we show the settings for one user. Therefore, I click on Admin and then choose User Accounts on the left side. Here I open context menu via right click and thereby the relevant mail account. Via identity and signature I can create a new identity or change the signature. Furthermore you have the option to add different addresses to send and receive mails. In case someone needs an alternate spelling of his name, just enter it here. In case a colleague has another address he rarely uses and wants to receive his mails in a different mailbox, just forward them to the address he prefers. Therefore, just fill in the relevant address that should receive his mails under Forward Mails 2. All mails from the accounts above will now be sent to this account. In our case it would be Nicole Oster at gmail.de. Attention, if you set this check mark, your mails will only be forwarded. The other account then won't be available for the user. Another useful option is Folder ACL. In case someone's on vacation and a certain colleague should be able to read his mails, just permit access to the inbox folder and fill in the relevant person. If one of your colleagues is on vacation, you can also set a vacation notice. You enter a text in the lower part and activate the notice afterwards. In part 2 we create a common mail account for several users. Practical example would be a joint info or office account. You once again open your context menu and use the wizard to create the account. You fill in username and password and your data will be validated. Now we'll give the account to a certain group. In our case I choose marketing. To make sure only you as an admin will be able to change settings, disable this option by deactivating the check mark. All members of marketing group now have access to our new office account and it will automatically be displayed in their mailbox. If I now log in as a member of this marketing group, the new account immediately appears with all its content. In part 3 of our tutorial, we create a managed mail profile for all users. I log in as an admin and choose mail account in my context menu. Using the wizard, I create a new account. You can name the account to distinguish it from the others. In this case, the account should be valid for all users. IMAP shows different types of incoming mail servers. In your case, it could be Stylite Mail Hosting or perhaps another one. In case of doubt, it's just IMAP. In our example, I choose Dovecot. Via login, I choose how usernames and passwords for all members will be composed. I here click on username and domain name, but you can also select something else. If you want, you can select an admin user, who will be allowed to work on IMAP administration. In SMTP, you define access to your mail server. In our example, it is SQL. I here set a check mark for authentication. Now all new users and their mail accounts will be registered with this managed mail profile. Please be careful with names and signatures in managed mail profiles. Don't enter personal signatures because they will always be taken over for all users. If you want to enter anything, please use our placeholders. Open a list of them via the question mark. If you as an admin want to adapt personal settings, Please always make sure to work on your personal profile. Another tip, don't set the upper check mark for account editable by user. I only activate the other one to allow users to create further identities. For our last example, we create a pure SMTP account. Like this, we make sure that for example, our eGroupware calendar can send alarms anytime. This should be possible no matter if any user is logged in or if we have any managed mail profile. I therefore use the wizard once again, but just quit step 2 and 3 concerning IMAP because I only need an Outbox server. After the account is created, it gets its own name to distinguish it from the others. Then I choose Valid for all users. By SMTP you can check your Outbox server settings once again. If I now open the account of our demo user, the new SMTP account shows up. Via this account you can send notifications from now on. We're at the end of our tutorial and you learned how to work on one person's profile, to create a mail account for several users, how to register a managed mail profile 
and a pure SMTP account.